Yakte Sustat Saka coming from my place to yours. Yeah. So, anyways, let me go ahead and turn this around. This is a picture from this angle. Uh, let me switch this around, get things going a little better. All right, here's a project that I'm working on right now the front lit. There's the uh, ancestors pole right over here under the blue tarp. And then this is a, a blank that's ready to go. And so, anyhow. Once today the, it gets brighter out later on this afternoon or early afternoon, the sun starts shining. I'm gonna uncover the um, ancestors pole here. And uh, I got a drone. And so I'm gonna put the drone up in the sky so I can look down on, uh, get some footage from there. Hadn't been able to do that before, but now we can. So let's come back over here to this. Um, now this big block of wood here, is I uh, was a chunk of what I had that I was gonna carve something out, but it, it had too much damage to it, and so I, I just took off a, uh, a chunk of chunk from it, as you can see, and this is part of that. And uh, let me see here, <sighs> kind of look over that way a little bit. Okay, so. Anyhow, that's the frontlet, 20 inches tall, 14 and a half inches wide, and I don't know, six inches deep, I guess. But with this block of wood and stuff, the red cedar, it has, I cut out a section that looked pretty good and uh, used using it, and it has some cracks in it, natural, natural cracks. And it had one that just kind of went right down along this edge here, and so I had a I had to glue it and clamp it, and it's pretty good there. Have a chunk out right up in here, and so I went ahead and came over here actually, and took the chunk out of right there, and then glued it, shaped it a bit. I didn't shape it like this, I made it kind of square going this way, vertical and then horizontal, and prepped the wood here and then glued it and clamped it and, and so that's what it looks like it's coming along so shaping it got a little bit more to take down but that's okay real close and so now I'm gonna just start um, dropping the rest of it it always looks funny that's one of the things I was talking with um, my wife about it's like it always looks kind of funny as it's in the process of moving the bottom part the legs are and the area there where the belly's at, that's pretty much done. Now, these eye points, I'm gonna push in. Both of them, I'll push those in. I'll probably keep these outside points here where they're at. Push those in, which is gonna drop the eyes down into here. When I do that, it's gonna pop the nose out. And then as I shape the nose more, I'm gonna probably bring it in. And then it's time to to work on the mouth getting the mouth set up and the nose you know so anyways that's my update for what i've got going right now all right yay kwasa teen satsu i'll see you later have a great day and also a shout out to the veterans today's veterans day and thank you all all the veterans out there for the service that you have done for us for me, for my family, and for this country. All right, have a great day.